Well, we've got transfers uh, in the news in regards to this cornerback out of West Virginia, Daryl Porter, that uh, Miami is certainly uh, in the running for. Yeah, so uh, Daryl Porter, like noted, uh, is a transfer who's out there, uh, is leaving West Virginia, which is where Jameel, sorry, Jameel, Jameel, that's his name, sorry, Jameel Adai, excuse me, uh, the new DBs coach. He coached there a couple of years ago when they had one of the best defensive uh, pass defenses in America. And everything, Daryl Porter, his father, played in the NFL for six years, including starting for your Detroit Lions. So there we go. Um, uh, previously, so yeah, uh, has uh, family pedigree and also uh, demonstrated performing. I won't call it excellence, but I mean, he was better than average. Um, I said before a, a statistic to Mark that that award was not actually uh, given, but he was one of the better defenders on uh, West Virginia's team. He did most of his work at the wide side cornerback slot excuse me for my phone i always forget to do that and like linkedin i haven't been on linkedin on my phone in forever anyway sorry um but yeah he's a guy that is out there and looking for a home and miami could use another corner uh so that is somebody that miami is after um, along with other guys excuse me with other teams pursuing uh daryl porter jr and he's about 5 11 6 feet tall so he's not, you know, super duper large or anything, but I mean, you don't necessarily have to be six three, six four to play that position. Um, but he's a guy, yeah, who's played in the Power Five conference uh, and you know started and done, you know, played three, four hundred snaps, five hundred or more. You know, late last year he played that number of snaps. So uh, definitely uh, somebody that Miami is looking to bring in. Also, this transfer from Mitchell Agude uh, from UCLA. He's a three four outside backer. So uh, more of a edge rusher in terms of what we might be looking at. Um, and if you remember, Jalen Phillips once played for UCLA, and then he made the transition over here, uh, and that worked out pretty well. Uh, Chigozi Naruka, before that, played defensive tackle. Uh, he came over here as well. Uh, we traded them somebody. I think it was like Malcolm Bunch, I want to say, maybe went over there for the last year. Uh, Hurricane Logan, thank you. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Um, so, yeah, looking at Michelle Agood uh, also – and I think that would be a good addition to the uh, program because we do need guys off the edge and we need them now. Uh, I know that we did sign Cyrus Moss and Nigel e. Kelly in this class, but to expect them to be like first team all ACC right off the gate is maybe a little bit speculative. So while they're getting everything going, um, I'll look at that too. Uh, <clears throat> It, it, while they're getting everything going, uh, maybe bringing in Mitchell Agood would be good. So there's a couple transfers out there. Uh, and also leaving the program is Larry Hodges. He just announced that yesterday. Uh, reserve tight end. Um, and, I mean, he was a decent prospect, but he's 6'1". You know, maybe 6'2", if you count the hair on a good day, which, you know, hey, just actually finished shaving. Eh, eh. Um, but, yeah, he was going to be fourth at best on the tight end depth chart. You got Will Mallory, you got Elijah Arroyo, and then you got Jaleel Skinner, who you flipped from Alabama at the early signing period. And again, just like with Dan Enos a couple of years before, like Alabama was fully expecting to have his letter of intent coming in. And that was a direct recruiting win. And all of those guys are at the same position. You know what I mean? Uh, even with Khalil Brantley, um, I might even like him more than <clears throat> uh, Larry Hodges because – Khalil Brantley is six two and a half, almost six three, um, versus somebody who's six one. Now he did have two touchdown catches in uh, his first game and everything against you know whatever sacrificial lamb we're playing at FA or FAMU a couple years ago, things like that. But I mean, and he's a he's a good kid. Like I have no ill will. Again, I have no malice towards any of the players or anything. But he's average sized, and at best, he would have been tight end four on this roster, probably tight end five. You know what I mean? If you're looking to play and like players want to play, you know, so uh, he's looking to go somewhere else. And, you know, I wish him well with that. I hope it works out. Um, but just plain and simple, like he's kind of a casualty of recruiting that position really, really well. You know, so you get a guy and, you know, you bring him in to uh, maybe uh, be a stopgap and everything and, you know, be a rotation guy. But, you know, then you get Elijah Arroyo who has superstar potential and then you get, you know, Jaleel Skinner the year after that, you know, it's just the, the room is, you know, the, the room is loaded, uh, it's packed, and respectfully, he probably wasn't going to get many snaps. So uh, he's uh, moving on to, to greener pastures for him, and, you know, we wish him the best, obviously, uh, you know, with that pursuit.